In this session, we will learn how to stop and start Postgre services or Postgre server on Windows system. So we'll directly start with the demo, which is very, very easy. And here we go. So I have listed all the steps on a text pad. So there are two ways we can stop and start the Postgre services or the server on Windows. Uh, both of them are very easy. The first one is using the PG underscore CTL and the other one is using the the windows services so in the first way when we say pg underscore ctl the first thing which you check is you check the data directory location so you log into psql command prompt and then you say show data directory or you simply say select settings from pg underscore settings where name is equal to data underscore directory in our case the location is at this place C drive program files PostgreSQL 13 slash data. So once you find this, uh, you have to execute PGCTL utility. So you say PGCTL underscore D, which it stands for data directory. You mention the complete location of the data directory. Then you say either stop or start. So let's let's go with the the uh, both the way. So I have. Uh, uh, logged into two command prompt so they are open the first one what we are going to do to do is we are going to log in as psql just wanted to see if it is working fine or not i'll say slash l it will list down all the databases now if we say uh, show data underscore directory uh, show data underscore directory this should show you the location of the data directory so this data directory location there are a couple more methods you can find but let's stick with this then what we will do is we will execute the pgctl command so we will go with the pgctl hyphen d c drive program files and either you say uh, let's say status it is saying server is running and you can confirm from here as well that I'm able to log into the database and we are able to sh see the databases or we have just queried the location of the data directory. Now, the next thing which we are going on to the uh, left one is we'll say pgctl hyphen D complete location of the data directory and then we will say stop. We want it to stop it. The server is stopped. Now, if we say slash L uh, connecting to PGSQL, this should show some error. Yes, it is showing the connection to the server was lost and that is fine. We'll quit out of this and then we will try to start it. So the way to start it is simply same. We'll say PGCTL hyphen D complete location of the data directory and then start. server so started you can check the status so that should show you the status and so what is running now let's try to connect using pgsql hyphen u postgre and fill in the password if everything is fine you will be able to log in yes you are able to log in you can list down the databases so everything is fine this is how we do re, uh, stop and start you can uh, do the reload as well if it is required if it doesn't require the bounds of the database. The other way to do is uh, you you can use uh, Windows services. So uh, press uh, Windows sign and R. Go to run. Just say services.msc. This will open services.msc. And uh, you will be able to see the Windows services, something like this. So you can see PostgreSQL-64. Uh, hyphen 13 so this is postgre 13 and it is in the running status you simply uh, there seems to be some issue with this postgre sql right yeah we just stopped it let's start Oops, there seems to be some issue. Okay, I think I have two. So let's, let's, I'll, I'll try to do it separately, but as of now, let's stick to this one, wherein we say that's uh, 
you use the pgctl and you will be able to see the status okay this is not running just say start and this should be started still running I think uh, the refresh was not proper so it was not showing the correct uh, uh, details sometimes it takes longer than what is required You can check the log files for more details. But they should be fine anytime. Did not start in time. Let's start it again. It just take a couple of seconds only. You can cross check. Oh, system is shutting down. Examine the log output. Let's try to start it once again. You can go to the logs also to find more details. So, I started. You can try this one, and uh, uh, this will show you over here. Yes, you are able to log in. Yeah, sometimes it is uh, my system problem. As of now, everything is okay. You can go to services.msc also and PostgreSQL. And once either you stop it or start whatever uh, service you want to do, uh, to do, you can do it. I hope it is going to be helpful and uh, thanks for watching.